don't have to go. I'm leaving. You know, for my whole life, you weren't just my grandmother. You were a friend. You were somebody that I could tell anything and everything to. Obviously not everything. I didn't want to hurt you. I thought you were going. You can't even be in the same room as me. What do you want, Luke? The husband, the new husband has been proved a fraud. The marriage is over. Isn't that sufficient humiliation and betrayal for you? And you blame me. If you are looking for somebody to listen to your pain, call Brian. I'm sure he'd be happy to assuage your... Mother, stop. You're not being fair. Look out, Oakdale, she's back. You know, I hate to break it to you, but you're not as cute as you think you are. Oh, I guess no one told you Will and Gwen moved. I heard. Yeah, really. So whose life are you out to wreck this time around? Well, I can cross you off the list. You did a pretty good job of that yourself. <gasps> now, how's prison, anyway? Any bromance in the big house? <sighs> Don't blame Luke because Brian lied to you. I'm not blaming him. Could have fooled me. Although I am still trying to understand why he never told me. All right, can, can we please not talk about me like I'm not in the room? Especially as that would have spared me a great deal of pain in this humiliating episode. I wanted to tell you. We are family. We're supposed to love one another. We're supposed to help one another. You are so happy. Happy? Happiness built on a lie. So I'm, I'm the blushing new bride and, and you're the one he wanted. Look, I, I, I thought it was like... A temporary thing. I believe Brian when he said he loved you. I think he still may. And that's why you kissed him. No, grandmother, it has nothing to. Look, I know it was wrong, and I'm sorry. And there's nothing that you can say that will make me feel worse than I already do. No, I know this doesn't mean anything, but I really am so sorry. You're not mad at him. You're mad at Brian. No, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm mad at myself because I fell for Brian. I believed, I believed in him, and I, I believed that I had a, a new lease on life. You did. You do. Brian didn't give that to you. You gave it to yourself by surviving cancer. Oh, I fine, fine. In the cancer, I had a nice male nurse. But what I thought I had was a man who loved me. How do you know he didn't? Well, along there were moments I, I knew something was wrong. Look, I'm not excusing Brian for lying, okay. but maybe he couldn't tell you about himself because he did love you, and he was afraid that he would lose you. <laughs> it's small comfort as I excise him from my life and prepare to go on alone. Oh, Mother, just because it didn't work out with Brian doesn't mean that there isn't another man out there for you. Yeah, yeah I know. Somebody younger, somebody cuter. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are we kidding? I'm a difficult person to love. You could at least pretend to disagree. Hello? Is there anybody available back there to make me a milkshake? <sighs> Is there no escaping you? Look, I'm not anxious to see you either, lady. Especially the way you've been treating Luke. You know, it's one thing to be clueless about your husband, but why can't you see what you're doing to your own grandson? I'm not going to discuss my grandson with you. But whether Luke made a pass at Brian or the other way around, it, it doesn't matter. Your husband would still be gay. Why are you torturing Luke just because you're finally forced to face it? Forget about the milkshake! I've lost my appetite. Mm, uh, well, at least you two still love each other. We love you too. Oh, seeing how Grandma and Noah feel the exact opposite, that is very good to hear. Oh, Mother, will you please tell Luke that you don't hate him? Uh, no, don't. I don't want anyone forcing her to say something that she doesn't feel. I've had enough of that for today. Why are you doing this to him? For heaven's sake, my life has been turned upside down. Will you please forgive me if I have other things on my mind than comforting your son? He's your grandson. I cannot go on with this. No more. Mother, now stop. It may be too late for you to salvage things with Brian. 
But it's not with Luke. Please, make things right with him before it's too late. As the World Turns is sponsored in part by Simon & Schuster. My son has had a breakdown. He can't be wandering around the halls. Where is he? You came here to say goodbye to Jennifer. $200,000 from Craig Montgomery. This is your way of figuring it out? Make him happy. Tear it up.